Good afternoon, everyone. As Minister of Labor and Immigration, I am very happy to be here at the True by Hilton Edmonton Windermere for this important announcement. I am pleased to acknowledge Ravi Dawan, owner of the True by Hilton Hotel. Also, Rishi Dawan, general manager of this hotel. I do want to thank them for allowing us to use their beautiful facility this afternoon in the heart of the most beautiful riding in all of Alberta, Edmonton Southwest. My thanks also to Ken Gibson, executive director of the Alberta Construction Association for being here as well. Whenever you look in the papers, you see that Alberta's recovery plan is working. Between the balanced budget, lowest unemployment rate since 2015, the first credit upgrade in two decades, venture capital records eclipsed monthly, everyone knows that Alberta is back. Today we are announcing the third and final intake for Alberta Jobs Now, another critical path of Alberta's recovery plan. A true Alberta Jobs Now, eligible employers can hire and train up to 10 new full-time or part-time employees with grants of up to $25,000 per employee. The grant can be used to cover salary or training costs. In total, up to $90 million is available to employers in this particular intake. We have kept the improvement from the second intake, and based on the feedback from Alberta's employers, we have increased the flexibility for this final intake. Unfortunately, some Albertans have been through a rough time returning to work especially those who have been unemployed for six months or more. Our economy is changing, and some people want to develop new skills to find a better job. Our recovery is too strong to be leaving people behind who want to work. And that is why we have increased the maximum grant to $37,500 for employers that hire someone who has been out of work for at least six months. This is the same additional funding employers receive for hiring people with disabilities, an important part of Alberta jobs now since its inception. This increase helps employers focus on people who have been missing out on the financial security social benefit, and the pride that comes with a good job. Of the 12,600 Albertans hired since this program began last year, many still hold high demand jobs in food and beverage service, retail sales, food preparation, and transport, uh, trucking, and driving. I understand it the True by Hilton has hired four employees at True Alberta Jobs Now, and I am very grateful for their participation in this program. While, Alberta through, uh, while about three quarters of the 3,800 employers participating in Alberta Jobs Now are small businesses, this program is available to every Alberta business. Between Alberta at Work and Alberta Jobs Now, your government of Alberta has committed almost $700 million to jobs and training programs over the next three years. This is a time of great optimism for our province, and we will keep the momentum going. Alberta's recovery plan is working for today and we are making investments to ensure that our success continues for decades to come. These investments in jobs and training 
will ensure that Albertans are ready for today's jobs and develop the necessary skills for tomorrow's. Alberta Jobs Now is making it easier for employers to grow their businesses by hiring and training the workers they need while increasing the number of job opportunities available to Albertans. By helping with employee wages and training, we are making our work more inclusive, our workforce more inclusive, and helping our longer-term unemployed get ready for their next dream job. More Albertans will have the chance to find meaningful jobs and return to success and financial security in our province. After all, that is the pro promise of our province. Applications open tomorrow morning, and I encourage employers to visit albera.ca backward slash jobs now to learn more and to put in their applications. Alberta Jobs Now is creating jobs and helping Albertans achieve their dreams. I am looking forward to the continued success of Alberta Jobs Now through its support of more employers and more workers. Our economy is stronger today than it has ever been and becoming more diversified. Programs like Alberta Jobs Now are helping to create a more resilient and brighter future for all Albertans. I am honored to have the opportunity to announce this critical step towards that future. And once again, employers can learn more and apply online at albera.ca backward slash jobs now. And with that, I would like to welcome Rishi Dewan. General Manager of the True by Hilton Edmonton Windermere to provide his remarks. Thank you. Rishi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much for having me here today. On behalf of the True by Hilton uh, Hotel here in Edmonton Windermere, it's my pleasure to host Minister Madhu. Um, a huge shout out to Joy McAlindong, she's our assistant manager here at the hotel and the rest of the team that we have here at the hotel as well for all of the hard work that they do to keep this hotel running very smoothly every day. And after all, hiring good people is a theme of today's event and in all of the work that we do. As you have heard the minister say, the Alberta Jobs Now program has been around for a while um, during the tough months of the pandemic as well as now as businesses are dealing with labor shortages. The True by Hilton Hotel has really benefited from this program. Um, we have hired several staff through the second intake and we are looking forward to partaking in this third intake as well. I'm grateful to the government for offering this program as it helps employees to hire and train staff during the challenging times that we have faced. The accommodation and food services sector face particular challenges and I'm not surprised that we are the top industry to access this program. During the height of the pandemic, we were dealing with the uncertainty of restrictions and closures. Now with the economy growing quickly, it can be hard for us to hire the people that we need. We value our staff and their hard work so much. And as an employer, we want to do what we can to hire more people to join our great team. And that this is exactly where the Alberta Jobs Now programs come in. I encourage other employers to check this program out and I look forward to our ongoing participation as well. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, the Executive Director of the Alberta Construction Association, Mr. Ken Gibson. Good afternoon. And Minister Madhu, thank you for the invitation to participate in today's important announcement regarding the Alberta Jobs Now program. Construction employs one in 10 working Albertans, and the Alberta Jobs Now program is of tremendous importance to our industry. The financial support of Alberta Jobs Now facilitates our construction employers taking dedicated, uh, experienced staff and putting their time towards 
successfully training inexperienced new hires. Albertans benefit from hotels such as this beautiful facility, schools, healthcare facilities, roads, and other construction. In order to keep the Alberta economy growing, Alberta's construction industry requires thousands of skilled professionals. Indeed, our latest forecast, which came out this spring, suggests that without programs such as Alberta Jobs Now, current labour shortages in the non-residential construction industry will grow in Alberta to 6,300 in five short years. Minister Madhu, the Alberta Construction Association thanks you and the Alberta government for the, Al the entire Alberta work at work, excuse me, the entire Alberta at work initiative, which includes many programs uh, beyond the uh, jobs now, all of these programs together supporting Alberta's workers and small business. Again, our industry, our employers uh, appreciate the wisdom and commitment of this government to making Alberta the fantastic place that it is to work and live. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Ken. I don't see anybody on the floor. So uh, please, for those on the line, one question, one follow-up. And operator, please put through the first call. Catherine Gregowski, Alberta Today. Hey, thanks for taking my question. I'm wondering, with the first two tranches of this grant, um, are we seeing retention after, after that money runs out? Like, are, are the employees sticking around after it's no longer funded or what are we seeing after after this money goes out the door thank you so much uh, uh, Catherine uh, a very important question I, I can confirm that we are seeing high level of um, um, employees being retained who have benefited from the first and the second tranche of this program and I think that is why there is so much um, high demand of this program. And so what we want to see is to provide that opportunity for employers uh, to hire those employees and for those employees to uh, remain in long-term permanent employment so that um, they, they are able to take care of themselves and their families and help contribute to the growth of our province. And a follow-up, Catherine? Yeah, um, it's, I apologize, it is off topic, but for the Minister, I, I see that uh, nominations are open in your writing, and I was wondering if you intend to run again. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Catherine. Uh, there is uh, no uh, question that I am, I will be seeking re-election in, in, uh, here in Edmonton South West, uh, and so I, I look forward to the nomination process. And operator, please put through the next caller. Michelle Belfontaine, CBC. Um, oh, hi, Minister. Thanks for taking my call. Um, I have a question um, about the numbers of the uptake for the first two intakes. Are you able to provide us with, uh, with that information? Um, Michelle, I, I think what I will do is to have someone um, get you the exact numbers of the um, uptakes in the tranche one and two. I, I don't want to provide it you any inaccurate number, but I can have someone from my department uh, uh, follow up with you. And follow okay, up? Okay, thank you. Are you any no, that's up? good, thank you. And operator, please put through the next caller. There are no other questions in the queue at this time. Well, thank you very much to everybody that participated in this. And I'll call the media portion to a close, and I'd just like the three speakers on stage so we can get a quick group picture. Thank you so much.